So you wanna save your InDesign document as a PDF. If you go up to File, down to Save As, you notice that you can only do InDesign documents or templates. So what we actually need to do is export as a PDF. So we go back up to File and we find our Export option. We also have some quick Adobe PDF presets. I'll be honest, usually I use these, but let's look at Export really quick. Once we're in our Export window, we can actually select PDF here or any of these other options. Then you can select where you're going to export it and hit Save. Then the PDF dialog box will pop up. It's got lots of different options here, including those presets that we looked at before. So the presets up here in the file dropdown that we saw before actually take you directly to this dialog box. So you can still get to those presets here. You can adjust a lot of different things in here. If we take a look at this one section at a time, we can adjust the compatibility. We can adjust the standard. A lot of times I use this 2001 standard right there. The pages, we can select a range of pages or all pages. We can export as individual pages or as spreads. So that's an option there that you might want to talk to your printer about how they need it exported or how you personally want it exported. Then we've got all these different options here. We can compress imagery. We can add marks and bleeds. If you want to add some crop marks, some bleed marks using the document bleed settings or select your own bleed settings right here. On the output, you can actually do color conversion here. And then there's some advanced options, some security options like password protection, and then a summary of everything. And then if you have a specific way that you export your presets, or I'm sorry, export your PDFs, you can save a preset down here with this button. And then all you have to do is hit export. It might give you a warning of any type of warning, any of those little errors down here. This one tells me there's overset text, which means there's text beyond the text box. That might be a problem, it might not be a problem. It kind of depends on what that warning is, but it does give you that here. You can also select don't show again if you know you're perfect, but I would suggest maybe keeping this up in case you have some issues within your document that you didn't realize. Once you hit okay, it's just gonna save that PDF to your desktop. So if we were to go up to file down to Adobe PDF presets and then go to high quality print, it allows us to just export as that. So if you had saved your preset, you could actually just select your own preset. Obviously I just saved that, so I'm gonna replace it. But anyway, it brings it in here as the preset up here at the top. Now smallest file size is actually really good for when you wanna send it an email and it includes a lot of imagery. Or sometimes I do high quality print and I go to compression and then just say, hey, down sample any images that are above 100 ppi or that dpi right and or actually no downsample everything to 100 for any images above a certain amount so like any image above 150 take it to 100 that kind of thing that will save you on file size if you're trying to export a small pdf and in fact if we look at the smallest file size it actually adds some compression here image quality sets to low and then it includes this here already so that's kind of what the smallest file size PDF preset does. And that allows you to really send like an email or really shrink down or compress your PDF that includes a lot of bitmap images. Long story short, that's how to export PDFs here in Adobe InDesign.